day, new day will bring to your life. You must be new. Today we have a student from Unicam MP5. He took bachelor's of mechatronic engineering. His name is Omar Arif Shabin Ismail. He's doing internship at PCG in Denver. He was appointed as trainee engineer under Mr. Omar. Now we'll continue with him showing us how to make a simple LED blinking using the state machine in Left View. Alright, thank you, newscaster. Now we will continue with the lab view exercise. Now we need to create. Now we need to create the <coughs> the project first, and then we need to add the folder. Here, as you can see, I already made the simple blinking LED folder. Then we add a new VI, virtual instrument. Okay, now. First, we need to make uh, the display, the front panel. Pardon. This here is the button, and here is the LED. We change the name. Start. Sorry. Start LED. And then the LED itself. Okay. Next, we will go with to the <coughs> to the block diagram of the exercise we will first put the while loop to make it loop endlessly unless we say unless we tell it to stop and then the case structure this is the state machine thing that the newscaster must be told us earlier next we will put down the enum constant this is this is for us to make the states for each of the each of the tasks first one is init also known as initial then we'll go with idle this is for when there is not there is nothing to do for the state machine next we will go with blink, blinking led and then we will last one is the close so that when we push the stop button, it will close everything, close the so close the running thing. <clears throat> okay, next one. We press close to save it. As you can see here, I've already made the state. We just override it. All right now, we put this one here, and then we we'll connect this. To this little connector this is to make the <coughs> case structure uh, have the option to change uh, before we do before we continue we need to press this add, add case for every value this is to make all of the things that we, we already add at the enum to appear on the case structure here right next we will we will change this to uh, sorry next we will change this one to shift register so that it will loop whenever it, whenever we want it whenever we want it to and now press this hold to control and then left click this will just go copy that one right, this one we go here copy that and then right click here and then create okay, constant and we'll just open the thing that <coughs> that we, it's already connected to and also last one this one is will be closed right and then we'll go to idle next in this one we will go and add a new structure that is event structure and this is for this is for when we press the start this is for when we start the the LED sorry when we press the start LED button it will register as an input and then it will go to the blinking LED as you can see here it will go to the blinking LED and now we will do 
into operation. We will add a next uh, a new sequence, the flat sequence. Can make it a, li a lot, a little smaller. And this one, right click it, and then create local variable. This is for us. This is for. This is to to call the LED itself without making a new LED inside of the inside of the lab view. Okay. We will add a frame after, hold control, and then, okay, this is, so as you can see here, the first, the first, the initial, th the initial state is true, and then it will, it will, uh, false. <laughs> so the true state is LED on and then LED off. And then now we will add a comparison. This is to select whenever we press the button. Uh, it will go to the corresponding corresponding <coughs> state that we have already set. Right, create constant. This will go to idle this will stay at blinking LD and then we will create a local variable for the start LED drag it here change it to lead then right as you can see here if you press this and then control H this context help will appear this will show us how it works how the <coughs> how the functions fu function works so basically this one this one right here it is select so whenever the start LED is true sorry start LED is true it will go to blinking LED it will stay here and if it's not true if it's not pressed, uh, it will go to idle. So basic back to here. And then if it doesn't do anything, let's say after we start running the lab view, it will just stay at idle and wait for a command. All right, next one, we will go and add this one. This is the stop button. Okay, add true constant. Sorry, pause constant first. Okay, and then at at it at every one of the states, so that it won't have any error. Okay, and then this one is close. We make sure the stop is true. Okay, next we will continue. We will add a stop button at the front panel. This one right here. Try and add a new case. Stop. And we will make it go to the close page. Alright. And one more thing. We will add a, a delay. This will make it so that if there is no... Sorry. If there is a delay, it will wait for 0.5 seconds to turn on and off and then it will cycle through sorry cycle again until the LED is not off it's not false okay let's check it check again initial it will go idle and then idle will time out stay at idle oh one more thing we will need to add the LED to make sure the LED is turned off just in case all right now let's say if we press the start start LED it will go to the blinking LED and then it will stay here indefinitely until we press it again and then if we lift it up it will go back to here and then it will wait for the next 
come on. Alright, let's test it out. Press this, and it's blinking. Then press it again, and it will stop blinking. That delay was caused by the delay that we set earlier here. I think there is another way to make this, but this is how I this is how I did it using Steam Machine and Live View. Let's make it pretty. Thank you. That is how we do blinking LED using Steam Machine in Live View. Thanks to Vicinity for giving me the chance to do the internship with them for six months. I have gained much experience through the journey in the internship here.